We're going to do the fuel system today. Uh, I am going to use my stock tank and an in-tank fuel pump. The one I'm going to use is this one here, which is from Holly. This is a retrofit pump um, and regulator and um, sending unit all in one that will fit into a stock tank. Uh, the kit comes with uh, the unit here um, and the lock ring that needs to go on it and a uh, electric um, pigtail to hook it up to the relay and such. And then also uh, a piece of the Holly Hydromat um, as the pre-filter. First step is to install the Hydromat onto the bottom of the pump and there's a nice little lineup tab for that and then the instructions say to remove the um, sending unit mechanism and then they will be able to fit in the tank. They say to uh, protect so you don't rip the hydromat to put some tape around the hole uh, to not rip it as we, uh, as, we, as we put it in. All right, so we're supposed to put the long piece of the hydromat in first. Fold the corners in. Go down. Let's take the tape off now that we've got the... Okay, we got the uh, the hydromat in and the pump in, and then the sending unit. We just fed down through the hole and um, fed down through the hole, and then we screwed it back on here on this on this back side. Now we'll turn the whole system down and get. It's a little finagling to get it down in there, but here we go. Okay, so now uh, we've got the whole assembly in there. Once you get it in there, it takes some finagling, but um, it's you, you can feel it. You just got to get it at the right angle. But we need to put uh, the uh, O-ring seal on. Get over the wire. Over all this. that in place and then the, uh, the locking ring itself. You put the ring into place and just like a regular sending unit uh, you twist this into place and then uh, hammer it to, uh, to drive it. Next step is to uh, put the gas tank in. So we got the fuel tank in. Um, didn't really film it because it was a little tough to try to film and get the tank in. Uh, but you know, pretty much standard uh, GMA body tank uh, with the uh, with the straps. So there's the top of the tank. Right here is where the um, uh, for the fuel pump sending unit deal from Holly comes out right here. And um, here's the wire. Um, and again, it's got the plug on it, and they give you the pigtail, so you can plug into that and feed the rest of the wires. Right. Here's the hole where the fuel line goes in from the engine compartment. Um, I like to try to run the fuel line the same way. So it goes in through this hole, goes down through the frame, exits out through the frame, and then goes down through the frame rail. So I'm going to see. Oh, uh, you can see the end of it. There we go. So now I'll just pull that through. There we go. So over the cross member, then we'll run it back. Um, to the frame rail here. Again, use some existing holes. And then we'll go over the top of the frame. I right. know it's hard to see, but I'll go uh, over the top of the frame. That's the fuel line right here. And I'll come out over the top of the shock tower. Let me just push that out. There it is. Okay, so, so right here is the uh, outlet from the tank. And, um, We'll just go uh, uh, direct onto that. Then I'm going to mount some clamps. I'll start and once I get this all mounted up here, um, then I plan on putting the fuel filter right here, which is uh, this is the rear of the car. Um, the clamps I plan to use for the rubber hose are these here. Just bought our days. I'm starting to tie down the fuel line. If you can see, it's where it comes out of the tank. Um, I have a uh, Little bracket up there by the shock tower. And then the fuel line comes down and uh, 
Let's see, above the suspension, tied it into the inner frame rail there. And right there is where I'm going to put the fuel filter. Here's a fuel filter I bought. It's a JEGS generic um, filter, but it's for, uh, for EFI. I forget what the microns is that it goes down to, but um, whatever it is, it's a proof of EFI. And I'm going to attach it in. Uh, I bought AN6 uh, fittings that work with the uh, Earl's hose that I bought. Fuel lines run, so it comes over the rear suspension. Um, go on the frame rail. Uh, there's a fuel filter, and uh, again, tied it down with these rubber um, uh, lined clips. Just got them at Ace. Um, and went over the cross member right there, and then in the corner in the front, and then through the frame rail to the uh, engine compartment. And it comes out here um, through the front cross member. So I got a whole bunch of hose here. I'm just going to coil this up and tape it off, and uh, then I'll cut it to length when we get the fuel injection system on. The electric fuel pump is actually turned on and off with a, with a relay because of the amperage uh, that it draws. You can't just hook it into, uh, into the right up to the key. So you basically use the key to turn the relay on and off. So I need to run some wires from the tank, um, from the tank up front here because I'm going to put the re relay will be under the hood here somewhere. I'm just not quite sure where yet. But I'm going to so this will be my feed line to the fuel pump. Uh, nothing but uh, black and red wire, number 10 wire from Home Depot. And then um, this uh, you know, corrugated type looking wire protector. Uh, I actually got this at Home Depot like, way cheaper than Ace or um, O'Reilly's Advanced Auto. So uh, this will be my feed line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder in the uh, pigtail for the fuel pump. Here's a pigtail that came with the fuel pump. Um, four wires. Uh, this guy's a ground, so I will cut him short and ground it uh, down underneath the car. The gray wire is actually uh, the hot, so I will splice that into the red. And the purple wire is for the gauge, so what I'm going to have to do is, that's this long, but I'm going to have to lengthen it out because it's got to go over the top of the tank. I'll show you where that goes to, to the existing wire harness. And then the black is running a, um, a, uh, a full ground wire all the way up to the, to the front of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to splice this stuff in. And this will be my extension for it. Put the shrink wrap tube over it first. I'm going to solder all the connections. Push these two together. And slide the, uh, the protective to seal off that. Uh, that puts a nice seal on the, on the connection. So I'll repeat that on the other two, and then I'll show you the finished harness when I'm done. Here's the finished lead, our uh, pigtail. Um, again, this is the lead to under the hood. And, uh, and these are the two that uh, go to ground and to the sending unit. Well, I know it's hard to see, but uh, that's the pigtail wired in there. The wire follows basically the gas line. And uh, I'll try to follow it around here. Follows the gas line there. Goes around. And it's over the fuel filter. Following the gas line up over and uh, then up to the engine compartment and it comes out right here. So, right now, I just got it kind of tied up until I figure out where I'm going to tie it into everything. For the sending unit, that lead comes, that blue lead comes over and ties in right there with the shrink uh, tube for the um, into the original wire harness. So, it should be good to go.